Hello everyone, hope you all are doing good. Today I am at Oshawa Drive Test Center and we are going to cover G routes. So there are two G routes. In the first route, we are going towards Central Street, Simcoe Street and then we will take Highway 401 West and we will return back from Park Road. Whereas in the second route, we will go and we will come back from the Park Road and we will take Highway 401 West. So let's start our drive test. After doing self check-in, you need to come back and sit in your car and then the examiner will come in sometime. The examiner will inspect your car and will also inspect your license and then will come sit next to you and will ask you to start the drive test. So the very first thing that you have to do is scan 360 degree and then give the right signal because we need to move out of the parking slot. So let's take a right turn now. And now we are going to take a left turn as we are going out of the exit. Make sure when you are turning, you give your signal, check your mirror and blind spot. There may be some traffic in this area on weekdays. So be careful. Now we are taking a right turn because we are going out of the exit. And now give your left signal as we are turning on John Street West. There may be some car in hurry just like this. So make sure you give them the way. This is one way stop sign only for us. So make sure there are no cars around while taking the turn. Give your signal, check your mirror. The speed limit on John Street West on this patch is 40 kilometers per hour. As soon as we will cross the bridge, the speed limit will change to 50 kilometers per hour. Yeah, over here the speed limit changes to 50 km per hour. Make sure you accelerate your car. And now from here we are turning right on Central Street South. Give signal, check your mirror and blind spot while taking a turn. If the signal is red then consider it as a stop sign, wait and if there is no traffic then take the turn. Always check the blind spot before taking the turn. And now we will change the lane to the middle lane. Give signal, check your mirror and blind spot before changing the lane. Always check all three mirrors every 10 to 15 seconds. Be aware of your surroundings. Stop at a safe distance from the car in front of you such that you should be able to see road and the tire of the car. While proceeding or crossing any intersection, always check left, right, left for any emergency or any oncoming vehicles or pedestrians. And now there is a slight bend on the road. And now there is another slight bend towards right side as we are merging on Simcoe Street South. We will drive in the rightmost lane as we do not drive in the passing lane. Check every intersection for oncoming traffic. Turn your neck a little bit. Also check all three back mirrors every 10 to 15 seconds. Check all intersections that you are crossing, check back mirrors. Make sure you drive at safe distance at least two to three seconds from the car in front of you. There is no speed limit listed on Simcoe Street, so consider it as 50 km per hour. And now we are going to take the Highway 401 West exit. Give signal, check mirror and blind spot. Now the recommended speed limit on the curve is 30 km per hour. So make sure you are around 30-35 km, not more than that.
वंस द कर्व इज फिनिश स्टार्ट एक्सेलरेटिंग योर कार द स्पीड लिमिट ऑन द हाईवे इज हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स पर आवर ऑलमोस्ट यूज सिक्सटी टू सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द मर्जिंग लेन बिफोर मर्जिंग ऑन टू द लेफ्ट साइड और ऑन टू द हाईवे एंड एट लीस्ट मर्ज अराउंड नाइन्टी टू हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स पर आवर स्पीड रेंज डू नॉट मर्ज बिलो दैट and now the examiner will ask us to perform a couple of lane changes so quickly perform the lane change give signal check your mirror blind spot perform the lane change to the left and then to the right maintain safe distance from the car in front of you which is at least 2 to 3 seconds and now we are taking this exit towards stevenson road the speed limit is 50 km per hour and now we are going to turn left onto stevenson road from the second lane to the left because immediately after we are going towards the highway make sure you are in the second lane from the left stop at a safe distance from the car in front of you while stopping always check your all three mirrors while turning always check your mirror and blind spot and now immediately after this we are going to change the lane to the right because we are taking the highway again now take the highway 401 east exit there is no recommended speed limit listed over here but i assume it to be 30 km per hour because all these bends uh, lie around the same range so drive somewhere around 30 to 35 km per hour as the road straightens up start accelerating your car the speed limit on the highway is 100 km per hour and use a uh, 60 to 70% of the acceleration ramp before merging onto the highway and then the examiner may ask us again to perform a lane change so we are first going to merge to the left lane and then to the right lane make sure you drive at a safe distance at least 2 to 3 seconds check all three mirrors every 10 to 15 seconds and now we are going to take simco street exit drive at a safe distance check all three back mirrors check your give signal check your mirror and blind spot while changing lanes check all three mirrors stop at a safe distance from the car in front of you the recommended speed is 40 km per hour make sure you do not cut any lane and now we are going towards the right lane because we are taking right on blow street west so it's a stop sign only for us so make sure there is no traffic there are no cars coming and take a turn when it is safe for every stop sign we have to wait 3 seconds count 1001 1002 1003 in slowly in your mind check your mirror blind spot while before taking the turn now again no speed limit listed so consider it as 50 km per hour now the examiner may ask you to perform a lane change so change the lane to the left and then come back to the right make sure while changing the lane you check your mirror give your signal check your mirror and blind spot and every intersection that you are crossing check the intersection turn your neck a little check all three mirrors make sure you rotate your neck and don't just uh, like rotate your eyes because examiner should see that you are checking the 
mirrors and checking the intersection. Check intersections, check all three mirrors. Follow the speed limit. Do not accelerate beyond the speed limit or do not drive too slow. Check the intersections, check all three mirrors. And now we are taking a right turn on Park Road Street. So merge onto the right lane by giving signal, uh, checking the mirror and blind spot. If it is a red light, consider it as a stop sign. When there are no oncoming cars, take a turn when it is safe to do so. The speed limit on the park road is 50 km per hour. Now, uh, park road is a bit tricky because there are a lot of uphill and downhill driving. So make sure you maintain your speed limit. As, at the moment, it is uphill and immediately after this, we will be on a downhill. Check all intersections, check all mirrors, maintain your speed limit, drive at a safe distance. So at a moment it is downhill, so make sure you don't accelerate and you pu put your feet on the brake pedal, whatever is uh, needed based on your car. So make sure you drive around 50, 45 to 50 and do not accelerate beyond 50 kilometers per hour. Plus minus 5 is still good, like minus 5 is obviously better, but yeah, you can go up to plus 5 if uh, need be, like if it goes up, don't uh, get nervous, just uh, follow the further steps and uh, maintain the speed limit, drive at a safe distance, check all three mirrors, check your blind spots, whenever you are taking a turn, check all intersections. Check your mirrors, check every intersection that you are crossing. And now we are taking a right turn on John Street West. So if it is a green signal, do not brake, do not stop, take the turn, complete the turn. And if the signal is red, consider it as a stop sign. Wait for oncoming traffic if there is any and th then make the turn when it is safe to do so. So right now on the John Street, the speed limit is 50 kilometers per hour. So over here the speed limit changes around the drive test center. So make sure you look at the speedometer sign at the uh, sign board. So now you see it says maximum 40 begins. So now the speed limit changes to 40 and now we are turning left towards the drive test center. So as uh, we are taking a turn and there may be some oncoming traffic, so let them pass and then when the way is clear, then take the turn. Don't get nervous if you are standing for long or if there are cars behind you. Take your time and always take a turn when it is safe to do so. And now we are going to make a parking in front of us. So there is no reverse parking and there are no like uh, all uh, G2 maneuvers like reverse parking, parallel parking and three point turn in G drive test. And now we are going to do the second route. So again, take a right turn. And then we are going left. And then we are turning right. So we are now exiting on the right side on the John Street West. It is a stop sign only for us. Stop for three seconds. 
and then when it is safe to do so when there is no oncoming traffic then take the turn the speed limit at the moment is 40 km per hour and immediately after this intersection the speed limit changes to 50 km per hour make sure you drive accordingly check all the intersections that you are crossing check your back mirrors every 2 to 3 every 10 to 15 seconds and now we are turning left on park road Whenever the light turns to green, first we will wait for the oncoming traffic. If there are no cars coming, then take the turn. Check pedestrian, check your blind spot, take the turn. And then we are going to change the lane because we do not drive in the leftmost lane as it is the passing lane. And then the examiner will once ask us to make a lane change. So the examiner will usually ask us after crossing this signal so make sure you check all the intersection make sure you check all three back mirrors every 10 to 15 second when driving even when you are stopping on a signal do check your back mirrors and now the examiner will ask us to make a lane change so give signal check your mirror blind spot change the lane when it is safe to do so and then move back to the the examiner will ask you to move back to the right lane and in case you are already driving in the left lane or in the passing lane the examiner will not ask you to move to the right lane so make sure when you take a turn always change the lane by yourself do not wait for the examiner to ask you to change the lane we never drive in the passing lane Okay, so over here there is a lot of uphill and downhill driving so make sure you follow the speed limit drive somewhere between 45 to 50 kilometers per hour check all intersections check all three mirrors drive at a safe distance from the car in front of you which is around two to three seconds so in a city driving you can assume it to be like around a gap of like two to three cars And now we are going to turn right on Bloor Street West. So we are going to merge onto the right lane, give signal, check your mirror and blind spot. And if the signal is green, do not stop, take the turn. And if the signal is red, consider it as a stop sign. The speed limit is 50 km per hour and the examiner will ask us to change the lane to the left because pretty soon we are going to turn left. And now from here we are going to turn left this road goes towards Stevenson Road so wait let the oncoming traffic pass and then make your turn do not hurry drive safely and if the signal turns yellow you can make a turn and then change the lane to the right because we are going to turn right and do not be too close just like this this is kind of minus five points because i was too close to the car in front of me which is not good and then if the signal is red consider it as a stop sign wait if there are any oncoming cars let them pass and then take the turn when it is safe to do so and now we are going to take exit 401 west Now the speed limit over here is 30 km per hour. This is the recommended speed limit. You could drive somewhere around 30 to 35 km per hour. Make sure you do not cut uh, lanes on both sides. On any sides I would rather say. And as the road straightens up, start accelerating your car. The speed limit on the highway is 100 km per hour 
use at least 70 60 to 70 percent of the of the acceleration ramp before changing the lane give signal check your mirror blind spot and then change the lane and then immediately after that the examiner will ask us to make one more lane change to the left and then come back to the right when it is safe to do so if there are too many cars then you could ask the examiner that it is not safe so i'm not if is it okay if i do not change the lane do not rush on anything whenever you are changing the lane always check your mirror give signal check your blind spot and always maintain the gap from the car in front of you at least two to three seconds and now we are going to take Thixen road exit so change the lane give signal check your mirror and blind spot and now again we are going to be in the second lane from the left and we are going to turn into the second lane never turn into the first lane from the second lane the recommended speed limit is 60 kilometers per hour check all three mirrors drive at a safe distance maintain speed limit be in the second lane from the left Always check your all three mirrors while stopping. Always check your the intersection for oncoming traffic or pedestrian while moving forward. And now we are going to change lane to the right. And now we will be taking exit 401 East. Give signal, check your mirror and blind spot. The recommended speed limit is 30 km per hour. Drive in the middle of the lane. Do not cut lanes on any side. Now over here drive around 40 to 50 kilometers per hour because this is not the highway. And after this tunnel start accelerating your car because now we are going to merge onto the highway. The speed limit on the highway is 100 km per hour. Now the examiner will ask us to make a lane change. So first merge onto the highway and then make a lane change. It depends on the examiner. If the examiner will ask you then only make a lane change else do not make a lane change. And now we are going, take, going to take the exit on Stevenson Road. The recommended speed limit over here is 50 km per hour, drive at a safe distance, follow your speed limits, check your mirror all every 10 to 15 seconds and now at this moment drive in the rightmost lane because we will be turning right after this uh, crossing. So drive in the rightmost lane, we are going straight from here. So there may be cars behind you who are turning, don't get nervous, stop on the signal because this signal permits going straight. Check your intersection, left, right, left. And now immediately we are going to turn right towards Bloor Street West. 
the speed limit on Bloor Street West is 50 kilometers per hour so merge onto the left lane yield for any traffic that is coming and now the examiner will ask us to change the lane and now we are turning left on park road so we will change the lane one more time give signal check your mirror and blind spot while changing lane or taking a turn and now as we will be turning left and there will be oncoming traffic wait for the traffic to pass and when there is no traffic or or, the tra or any car is very far away then take a turn when it is safe to do so or else if the signal turns yellow wait for the car to break a little and then take the sick turn so we are going to turn onto the first lane and then immediately after that we are going to change the lane to the right so it's a bit tricky driving on park road a lot of uphill and downhill so make sure you maintain your speed limit and also maintain the gap from the car in front of you check all intersections all roads that you are crossing check your back mirrors every 10 to 15 seconds stop at a safe distance such that you can see the road and the pavement check left right left check your all three back mirrors drive at a safe distance it's downhill make sure you your speed does not go above uh, 50 or 55 maintain speed limit again we are on downhill make sure you maintain your speed limit do not go beyond 55 ideally ideal speed limit would be like 45 to 50 but in case your car goes beyond that just don't get nervous drive carefully stop at a safe distance check all three mirrors check all the intersections left right right left right left when you are crossing them And now from here we are going to turn right onto John Street West. If the signal is green do not stop take the turn. If the signal is red consider it as a stop sign. The speed limit at the moment is 40, sorry, 50 km per hour. Make sure you drive in the middle of the lane do not cut the uh, lane for the cyclist check left right left when crossing any intersection check your back mirrors and after this intersection the speed limit changes to 40 km per hour and now we are turning right towards the drive test center so make sure there are no oncoming cars from the front take the turn and then the examiner will ask you to park in any slot so we are going to do a front parking please uh, like the video on YouTube, share it with your friends and family and at least watch two to three times. Bye bye.